Hello, this video will be about the potential formulation of the wave equation. Uh, the idea is that we try to use the acoustic potential as a solution variable. So instead of the acoustic pressure, we model the same, um, the same wave equation by the acoustic potential. It has some certain benefits, uh, which uh, is in the coupling of structural mechanics and acoustics. Uh, there we can uh, directly couple the two equations. Um, so for uh, taking the curl of the linearized momentum equation, uh, which is the equation 8 yields um, that the acoustic particle velocity is irrotational. So this here, this term is irrotational because the curl of a gradient is already irrotational. So we can model this acoustic particle velocity by a scalar potential. So one can write the velocity field in terms of the acoustic scalar potential like this, that the acoustic particle velocity itself is a gradient field, so itself is a gradient of a scalar potential. Um, introducing the potential again into equation 8 shows how the acoustic potential, the scalar potential is related to the acoustic pressure and that the acoustic pressure is equal to the base density uh, times the time derivative of the acoustic scalar potential. Um, now inserting this into the equations, like in the continuity equation, um, and write the pressure in terms of the potential like equation 15 uh, before, uh, we obtain the wave equation in the scalar potential form uh, as we have it here and this will afterwards be used uh, when we derive the perturbed convective wave equation. Uh, thank you for watching this video, this very short outline on the potential uh, formulation of the wave equation. Next we will look at the boundary conditions. Thank you.